Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a requested video and she requested that I show all of my bird supplies and I am just so in the mood of making bird videos that I figured why not do this request first. And um, so I'm going to show you all of my bird supplies but I think that would be a bit short since I don't really have all um, too much bird supplies. So I'm also going to tell you guys what you need for your bird. Um, I'm just going to tell you about the supplies in general. Remember that every single breed of bird has um, a bit of a different requirements, but I am just going to talk about that in general. So first of all, a cage. My parrotlet is very, very small. They're usually only about uh, four and a half inches full grown. So the minimum cage requirements for birds that small, like um, parakeets, finches, and that stuff, um, you need a minimum of 14 by 18 by 18 tall. So that is the absolute minimum cage size. Mine is a 19 by 14 by 31 tall. And then based on that size, you can figure out how large of a cage you need for uh, those huge like uh, macaws or African greys or something like that. So that's the cage. And then the second thing, perches. You need at least one perch in your cage. I recommend different sizes, but since Pico over here is still a little baby, I don't want to, um, his feet are a bit weak, and I just want to stick with some regular wooden perches for now. Um, but yes, it's usually generally good to provide different perches. And the size of the perch, you want to make sure that while they're standing on it, while they're standing on it, that their toes don't wrap all the way around. So to measure um, how big of a perch you need, you can use your finger, your hand, or your arm and see how, uh, how much their toes can like wrap around your arm and based on that, you can see how um, big of a perch they need. So that's a good way to measure. And then, toys. Toys, toys, toys. That is a big, 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 big 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 need it's not an option it's a need um a lot of birds like those kinds of swings and they're very 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 fun for them and most of them like to sleep on them i know a lot of birds like um moving toys like toys that can like dangle your toys like this just as i said before swings are good and other like rope toys that will move like a lot of a lot of action toys, they really, birds really enjoy those, they like attacking them, and make sure that, um, that the toys are safe. Try not to stay away from any, like, braided yarn that you might think is safe for them, but this, um, there's pieces that can come out and they can choke on the little strings, so stay away from yarn toys, well, like, that kind of knitting yarn toys. And also, remember that the toys that your bird will probably enjoy the most is the toys that they will uh, destroy. So make sure they're cheap and you can replace them constantly. So I have two star dangly toys over here. I have an extra one over here. I have a swing over here that I'm going to wait till Pico is a bit older to put in. As I said before, he's still a little baby. And. I'm going to make a few more toys for him out of like uh, leather laces and stuff like that and other wooden beads. So, um, cages, toys, perches, and water and food dishes. So of course birds need water and food. I have them in these clear plastic dishes right now. A lot of people like those water bottles, but my Pico is already really used to drinking out of a water dish. So I am like um, changing out the water three times a day and I'm scrubbing it really thoroughly every single day so there's no bacteria grows in it. And um, food. So I use Nutriface Cocktail Diet. I'm not sure you can see really clearly, but there are actually, um, there's a sort of pellet mix in here. Hold on a sec. I could show you. There's. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Hold on a sec. Okay. You can see that there's like a little pellet mix in there too. So. I recommend this food for like cocktails, canneries, fringes, fringes, lovebirds, parrotlets. And the food, I can't really say much in general because 
each bird has its own different requirements. So that's it for food. And make sure that your birds get, um, um, birds can pretty much eat anything. Just make sure that there's no chocolate, caffeine, avocados, anything they can choke on, a stringy, uh, celery, or any of that stuff. Um, they need vegetables, yes, definitely. Um, you can also provide them a bit of fruits. I know parrotlets really love rice. Um, sometimes I just dump a bit in their seed bowl. So, that's it for food, water, um, <laughs> He's printing himself. Okay, that's it for food, water, toys, purchase, and cages. And yeah, I don't want you to see that. Um, okay, so that is basically for the general needs. And now I'm going to show you what other stuff I have for them. Here is a ceramic veggie bowl that I put all of Pico's fruits and veggies and other foods like bread in here. And I just place it in the bottom of their cage every once in a while. That's that, and also I have a bit of spray millet for him. He really likes it. It's like a little treat and for like training and stuff like that. Or maybe if I'm just in a good mood, I'll just give him a treat. <laughs> and also, oh, I almost forgot. You need to, uh, most bird breeds, you need to cover their cage at night so they can get like an adequate amount of sleep. Even when your household is sort of busy, you need to cover them. Um, babies need to sleep at least 12 hours and adults need to sleep at least 9. So make sure they get enough sleep, just cover the cage up and then clip the opening close. And yeah, that's it for sleep and I already showed you my food. And by the way, it's a good idea to have like records on each of your pets. For example, if they're on any medication or just general records when you first bring them home. I have all of my pet records in that little uh, metal wire thingamajig. And a lot of birds like sprouts. So if, if you can sprout some seeds and give it to them, they'll really appreciate it. So I think those are all of the stuff I have for them. I know it's not much, but I'm going to get a few more purchases for him when he gets older. And I'm going to make a few more toys. So that is the general bird supplies that you will need if you're planning to get a bird. Remember to do your research because as I said before, each breed of bird is um, a bit different. They need different requirements. I just told you the generals and that's all the stuff I have for my parrotlet. So yeah. Thanks for watching, bye!